Hey there, I'm Sarah. Before I dive into this wild ride, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming. So picture this. I'm sitting at my desk, crushing it as a marketing exec, when my phone starts buzzing. It's my stepsister Vanessa, of all people. We haven't exactly been besties, you know? Sarah, are you there? Her voice is all shaky. Yeah, what's up? I'm already bracing myself for drama. I... I'm getting married, she blurts out. And I really need you to be my maid of honor. Please, Sarah. I know we've had our issues, but you're my sister. I'm floored. This girl who made my life hell growing up is now begging for my help? But then I start thinking maybe this is our chance to patch things up. Wow, congrats, Vanessa. That's... unexpected. So you'll do it? Oh, thank you, thank you. I barely get out ashore before she's gushing about dresses and flowers. As I listen, my mind drifts back to our mess of a childhood. Dad remarrying, bringing home Vanessa and her mom. Suddenly I'm the outsider in my own house. Remember when we used to play wedding as kids? Vanessa's saying now. Yeah, I remember. I remember her always being the bride, making me play the dog. I shake off the memory. Listen, I gotta run. We'll talk details later, okay? I hang up and immediately call my best friend Mike. You did what? He exclaims when I tell him. I know, I know. But maybe this is our chance to finally be real sisters. Sarah, come on. This is Vanessa we're talking about. Queen of manipulation, remember? I sigh. People change, Mike. Maybe she has too. And maybe pigs will fly. Just be careful, okay? I promise I will, but deep down I'm hopeful. Maybe this wedding is exactly what we need to bury the hatchet. As I head out for lunch, I can't help but smile. Who knows? This could be the start of a whole new chapter for us. Little did I know, I was about to step into a nightmare dressed in white lace and tulle. But hey, that's family for you, right? Stick around, because this story's just getting started. So, there I was, thinking I'd stepped into some Hallmark movie where estranged sisters bond over wedding plans. Boy, was I in for a rude awakening. Sarah, darling, we simply must have the bridal shower at the Ritz, Vanessa cooed over the phone. It's the only place befitting a bride of my status. I nearly choked on my coffee. The Ritz? Vanessa, that's gonna cost a fortune. Oh, don't be such a penny pincher. What's family for if not to support each other? I bit my tongue, remembering my goal of reconciliation. Fine, I'll see what I can do. Little did I know, this was just the tip of the iceberg. Next came the bachelorette party. Vegas, baby, Vanessa squealed. First class flights, penthouse suite, and VIP treatment everywhere we go. You're handling it all right, sis? My credit card wept as I booked everything. But the real kicker? The bridesmaid dresses. Only Vera Wang will do, Vanessa declared at the bridal boutique. I glanced at the price tag and felt my stomach drop. Vanessa, these dresses cost more than my monthly rent. She rolled her eyes. Stop being so dramatic. It's not like you can't afford it, Miss Big Shot Marketing Exec. I was about to argue when Vanessa's fiancé, Jack, walked in. He looked uncomfortable as he surveyed the scene. Everything okay here? He asked hesitantly. Perfect, Vanessa chirped. Sarah's just agreed to get us all Vera Wang dresses. Isn't she the best sister ever? Jack's eyes widened slightly, but he said nothing. I couldn't help but wonder if he knew what he was getting into. Later that week, I confided in my coworker Lisa during lunch. I don't know how much more I can take, I admitted, pushing my salad around. I've already dipped into my savings, and Vanessa's demands keep getting crazier. Lisa frowned. That doesn't sound right, Sarah. How much have you spent so far? I did a quick mental tally and nearly choked. Close to ten grand, I think. Ten grand? Lisa exclaimed. Girl, that's insane. You need to put your foot down. I sighed. I know, but I really want this to work. Maybe if I show Vanessa how much I care, she'll finally see me as family. Lisa gave me a look that screamed, You're being an idiot. But she didn't push it. What I didn't know was that she had started keeping tabs on everything I told her about Vanessa's demands. Then came the day of the final dress fitting. Vanessa was in rare form, nitpicking every detail. 
Sarah, you need to lose at least 10 pounds before the wedding, she snapped. I can't have you ruining the photos with your muffin top. I felt like I'd been slapped. Excuse me? You heard me. Maybe lay off the carbs for a while, yeah? I was about to give her a piece of my mind when my phone buzzed. It was a text from Lisa. Hey, got a minute to talk? It's important. Little did I know, that text was about to change everything. But at that moment, all I could think was how I'd gotten myself into this mess, and if there was any way out that didn't involve burning every bridge I had. I should have seen it coming, I guess. But when Vanessa dropped the bomb, it still felt like a sucker punch to the gut. Sarah, we need to talk. Vanessa's voice was cold over the phone, two weeks before the big day. What's up? Is there a problem with the centerpieces? I asked, already mentally calculating how much more this would cost me. The problem is you, she spat. You're uninvited from the wedding. I nearly dropped my phone. What? Vanessa, what are you talking about? Don't play dumb. I've seen how you look at Jack. You're trying to steal him, aren't you? My jaw hit the floor. Are you kidding me? I've barely spoken two words to Jack. Save it, Vanessa snarled. I want you nowhere near my wedding. Consider yourself fired as maid of honor. The line went dead. I stood there, shell-shocked, as the reality of what just happened sank in. Thousands of dollars, countless hours, all down the drain. And for what? To be accused of something I'd never even dream of doing? I tried calling back, but it went straight to voicemail. In desperation, I drove to Vanessa's place. She answered the door with a smug look that made my blood boil. Vanessa, please, I pleaded. This is insane. After everything I've done. Everything you've done? She scoffed. You mean fulfilling your sisterly duties? Don't act like you're some kind of martyr. Sisterly duties? I've spent over ten grand on your wedding. She shrugged. Not my problem if you can't manage your money. Now, unless you want me to tell the whole family about your little crush on Jack, I suggest you leave. I felt like I was drowning. You wouldn't. Try me, she smirked. I'm sure Dad would love to hear how his precious little Sarah is trying to ruin my big day. Defeated, I left. I drove straight to Mike's place, barely able to see through my tears. She did what? Mike exploded when I told him everything. I don't know what to do, I sobbed. She's going to turn everyone against me. Mike's eyes narrowed. Oh, hell no, we're not letting her get away with this. What can we do? She holds all the cards. Not all of them, Mike said thoughtfully. Didn't you say your coworker Lisa was keeping track of all the crazy expenses? A light bulb went off. I called Lisa immediately. Sarah, I've been trying to reach you, Lisa said. I've got something you need to see. Twenty minutes later, I was staring at a meticulously detailed spreadsheet of every penny I'd spent on Vanessa's wedding, complete with dates and screenshots of texts and emails. Lisa, this is... Wow, I breathed. I had a feeling you might need this, she said grimly. The way Vanessa was behaving, I knew something was off. Mike grinned. This is perfect. We can expose Vanessa for the manipulative gold digger she is. I hesitated. I don't know, guys. She's still family. Family doesn't treat you like an ATM and then toss you aside, Mike argued. She needs to face consequences. As I looked at the mountain of evidence before me, a plan began to form. Maybe it was time Vanessa learned that karma can be a real bitch. Okay, I said, a newfound determination in my voice. Let's do this, but we need to be smart about it. Little did Vanessa know, her picture-perfect wedding was about to turn into a nightmare of her own making. And me? I was done playing the doormat. It was time to show my dear stepsister exactly who she was messing with. All right, buckle up, because this is where things get wild. Remember that dossier Lisa put together? Well, it was time to put it to use. You sure about this? Mike asked as I hovered over the send button. I took a deep breath. No turning back now. With a click. The truth about Vanessa's shenanigans went out to everyone. Family, friends, even her workplace. Then we waited. It didn't take long for the storm to hit. My phone blew up with messages. Sarah, is this true? 
We had no idea Vanessa was treating you like this. That was Aunt Karen. Holy crap, kiddo. I'm so sorry we didn't see what was happening. Dad, finally opening his eyes. But the real kicker? A voicemail from Vanessa's boss. Miss Thompson, we need to discuss some irregularities in your expense reports. Please come to the office immediately. Turns out, Vanessa had been charging some of her wedding extravagances to the company card. Oops. The day of the wedding arrived, and against my better judgment, I decided to swing by the venue. What I saw was pure chaos. Guests were huddled in groups, whispering and shooting dirty looks at Vanessa. She was in full bridezilla mode, screaming at anyone who dared approach her. What do you mean you're leaving? The ceremony hasn't even started. I can't do this, Vanessa. The person I thought I was marrying? She doesn't exist. Vanessa's face turned an impressive shade of purple. You can't leave me at the altar. But he did. And that's when things really fell apart. I slipped out before Vanessa could spot me, but the updates kept rolling in. The wedding was officially off, and Vanessa was facing an investigation at work. A week later, I met up with Lisa for coffee. So how does it feel to be free? She asked. I stirred my latte, thinking. Honestly, it's weird. But good weird, you know. Any regrets? I shook my head. Nah, it was time to stand up for myself, but it got me thinking. Uh-oh. Lisa laughed. I know that look. What's brewing in that devious mind of yours? I grinned. How would you feel about starting a support group? For people dealing with financial abuse from family? Lisa's eyes lit up. Girl, I am so in. And just like that, Family Finances 101, Protecting Your Wallet and Your Sanity was born. Our first meeting had five people. By the third, we had to find a bigger space. Months flew by. I threw myself into my work, got a promotion, and our support group was thriving. Life was good. Then came the day I'd been low-key dreading. A letter from the county courthouse. What's that? Vanessa's sentencing. Looks like she's facing some serious time for embezzlement. Mike raised an eyebrow. You gonna go? I thought about it for a hot second, then tossed the letter in the trash. Nah, that chapter's closed. Proud of you, Serbear. Sure, the road had been rough, but I'd come out stronger, wiser, and surrounded by people who genuinely had my back. Vanessa? She was just a cautionary tale now, a reminder of what happens when you mistake kindness for weakness. Me? I was too busy living my best life to worry about her anymore. And let me tell you, freedom from toxic family drama, it tastes sweeter than any wedding cake ever could. The story's over but I've got a question for you. If you were in my shoes, would you have exposed Vanessa's actions to everyone or kept it quiet to maintain family peace? What would you have done differently? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'm really curious to hear your take on this. If you enjoyed this wild ride, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more drama-filled stories. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next.